Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I'm going to show you how to create your own GIF or GIF. And I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch using Photopea or Photopea. It's free software on the internet, browser based. It allows you to create amazing thumbnails and you can create GIFs and add them into your videos and you can do it for free. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And here's an example of one I just made with Freedom. All right, let's get into this. I'm going to delete all of these things. And we're going to start from scratch. Okay, let's actually go to photopia.com and start with nothing. Okay, so the first step is we're going to go click on this here, new project. When you do that, you get a whole bunch of options and you get some templates. I'm going to select Facebook event image, not because this is a Facebook event, but because it has 1920 by 1080, which is a standard thumbnail size and it's a standard video size. So it just makes sense. Although you can make it any size you want. Also, I'm going to change the background from white to transparent. Very, very important point. Unless you have a background in mind and you can put a background in there, don't get me wrong. But if you just want the GIF or the GIF to be do its thing without a background, make sure this is selected to transparent. Now click create just like that. Presto. Now the next step is we're going to bring in the image or images. This can be done with multiple images. I'm going to do it with one, but keep in mind that you can have it with multiple. I'm going to bring in, let's bring in these sunglasses. This is a cool character. Uh, no, actually it doesn't have a transparency. So I'm going to bring in the freedom one like I did last time. I'm going to drag and drop this image on there. And, it's, and it drops to the top left corner. Okay, what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead first off and I'm going to create, I'm gonna actually change the name of this. That's the first thing to do. So I'm gonna go and double click on it and every GIF inside Photopea or Photop and only this program starts with underscore A underscore. When you do that, that is basically signals to Photopea that this is now going to be a GIF or a GIF. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done that. Presto, A underscore, underscore A underscore. Now, now you've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag and drop that layer onto this little button here where it creates a duplicate copy. And then it's gonna make a copy and you can even see it, it says copy there. And if I hover over this, it says new layer. So I'm gonna make this with three to make it nice and simple. So what's happened here is each one of them, when you drag and drop it, it creates A, it's underscore A underscore freedom and then underscore A underscore freedom copy copy two. all right now the first one i the first uh shot on the gif i want it to be let's say i want it at the bottom here the second one it's right here now i'm going to move it and i'm going to move it into the top just something like this i'm just randomly doing this just to show you what it looks like and then the third one i'm going to click on that and i'm going to move it right here so it's right dead set in the middle and if they're overlapping each other don't worry about it this is a gif all right or a gif i don't even know you guys in the comments below what is it a gif or a gif i don't even know all right so we've got them we've got them labeled now watch this i'm going to select all three i just hold down the shift key and i've selected all three now we go up here to file we go up here to export as and then you see gif or gif is an option click on that and look at that, we've got a GIF ready to go. If it's too fast, dial down the speed like this. We're gonna go with a slower version. If it's not fast enough, if you wanted to go bonkers, there we go, there's bonkers. Anyways, let's, let's bring it down to about, I don't know, let's go down about 60% or something like that. That's good enough. Now I'm gonna click on save. Also keep in mind, you can reverse it. So if you wanted to go backwards, or if you wanted to boomerang, probably don't, but whatever, click on save. And now it's going to download it. Allow downloads. And there it is. And if I'm going to go to my downloads, it's in here somewhere. And if I open it, well, let's open it. And step one, step two, step three. I don't have it set to open GIFs, but it has successfully created a GIF. That's how you do it, guys, using free software, Photopea. Thanks for watching.